You know, I just don't think you can do enough to support our military, whether it's active, you know, men and women overseas or, or families back here or folks that have come back. And I think it's, that's a big thing we're we'll looking at for the next, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years is uh, soldiers who have come back that are wounded, um, whether it's a physical wound or some sort of, uh, you know, brain trauma. I mean, I can't imagine anybody going over there without having some sort of, you know, experience, even just being there and being, a, you know, training to be a soldier for your whole life and then being in combat then trying to come back to civilian life would be difficult enough let alone having suffered some sort of injury. Um, so I think it's a, one of the greatest things you can do as an American. And um, I hope our government and I hope uh, you know, all, the, all, all of us as Americans find a way to continue to help these folks come back and, uh, and get them, help them make their transition back into you know, civilian life.